So it's January 3rd this year, and I am sitting in a doctor's chair awaiting a medical procedure on the skin underneath um, my eyes. And uh, the room is silent. If you can imagine just white walls, white ceiling, white floor. Uh, some medical equipment scattered around. And um, 10 minutes go by, 20, 30, no doctor. I'm just sitting there. And I'm just getting more anxious as, as time goes on. And, uh, and then I, it dawns on me, wh why, are I, why am I not uh, asking God to join me in this? I, I, and, and to be honest, I, my personality, I, I tend to kind of be a bit independent, and, and it takes me a little while to, to ask God in sometimes. But anyway, I, I said, okay, God, please join me in this. I'm feeling quite alone. And, and as soon as I did that, I, I really, uh, my, my nerves just calmed down a bit. And, and, uh, and, and about 40 minutes after I'd been sitting there, a doctor shows up. He says, okay, um, we're gonna put some numbing shots on the skin of your eyes, uh, just to prepare you for the laser. Uh, we're, we're gonna do something, we, we just wanna make sure you don't feel it too much. So I'm thinking one shot in each area is good. I, I hate shots, I, I, I'm fearful of doctors, I have been since I was a kid. Um, anybody else like that, by the way? Or am I the only one? I did, okay, okay, good. Um, and so, but no, he, he, uh, he has a little different thing in mind. He, he starts the needle going, and it's just going in, and then he's moving along. I mean, he's making a little bit of a train track across my face, okay? And I'm just twitching my face and grimacing, and um, I'm feeling trapped. I'm feeling just really uncomfortable. And so I'm just, all I can think of to say is, oh, Lord, please just, just, just be here with me. Just join me so I don't feel like I'm doing this by myself. And um, about 20 shots later, no joke, he's, he's, he's done. And um, as soon as the anesthesia kind of kicks in, he, uh, he says, okay, laser's coming on. He comes on, and it was like this. It was just... It was really loud. I, 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 I don't know why, but I thought lasers were quiet. <laughs> They're not. Uh, this was loud, and, and all of a sudden I felt something like dull nails pounding, just pounding my, my skin. And I, my, my head is just pulsating, and I, am, um, I think my mouth is just kind of dropped, and I don't know if I'm drooling or what. And, and then I smell this really strange smell. And uh, yeah, you, you probably know what it is. I, it, it's burning flesh is what it is. And, and as, the, as the laser moves closer to the center of my face where there isn't any anesthesia, then this dull nail turns into needle-like electricity that's jolting into my face, and I'm just literally feeling the raw force of laser just pummel me. And, and all I can do is just say, Lord, 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 please, just, just stay here with me, hang with me, because I, 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 this is over the edge for me. And, and at that moment, it's as if he was saying to me, Mark, you can handle this. And actually, you can handle more than this with me. Um, it, it's not that bad, and I love you. And, um, and, and really, I tell this story because um, it's an illustration of me just inviting God into areas that um, are fearful and anxiety-ridden for me. And some of them are historical, like they go back a long time. And so... Um, it, it's like a slow burn because it takes a long time to work through some of those things for God to come and fill those places that there was fear and bring him into those spaces and to drive out that fear. And so, um, yeah, and when he does that, it's uncomfortable, it's time consuming, but um, he really breaks through and takes over those places. Thanks.
Biola University offers a variety of biblically centered degree programs ranging from business to ministry to the arts and sciences. Visit biola.edu to find out how Biola could make a difference in your life.